Hey everyone, welcome to Sean's Trains. Today, we have a package from Rapido that should be a complete mystery. I've got no idea what to expect. I ordered the 150 and the 250 uh, mystery boxes. I honestly don't know which one this is, but we're gonna find out because the 250 is guaranteed a locomotive. So first thing we see, there's some paperwork, some peanuts, and a few boxes, which is awesome. So this is going to be the 150. So a mystery box. This is a uh, cool. So it's just a little thank you, just saying thank you for purchasing the mystery box. And it looks like there's some Rapido napkins or Via Real napkins. So that's kind of cool. That's actually kind of nerdy. I like that. So it says Rapido here, and then V on the other side. So this is perfect, because as you can see, or as you might see, this is my bar. So this is awesome. This is, <laughs> that's actually really cool. Uh, let's see what we have here for cars. Ooh, so this is one of the Santa Fe Reefers. I was gonna get a couple of these, but they're just a little out of my price range for what I wanted to do. Um, and there really wasn't a need. So I'm really glad, I'm actually kind of shocked to see this. That's really neat. Uh, next up, Oh, we've got a wood box car. So this is the single sheath door box car. Uh, this is CNO. This is actually, this is really awesome. This is so cool because there's my steam era stuff uh, right here. I've got you know a transition air or a, a early diesel. I've got a, a steam era box car now. Um, Canadian Pacific gondola. This is really cool. This is the 50, uh, 52 uh, foot six inch mill gondola. So this is another steam era. That's that dude. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of geeking out right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but I am geeking out. And then here we've got a, a, a Union X3 tank car. This is from the 1950s. So again, another steam slash, you know, transition era piece of equipment. This is, this is cool. And actually we've got another one here uh, too. So we have two different road numbers of that. So I've got a small shelf layout and rolling stock right here. This is just way too cool. And that's not it. There's a one more thing in here. Tempo in tune with the time. So this looks like it's a book about the tempo. So that's really cool. I kind of hope they do these again. I would like to get one. Um, I missed out on them the first time. I got the Algoma Central cars and ended up parting with those. But this is cool. Look at this. This is just awesome. For 150 bucks, I got all of this. If this isn't cool, I mean, I never would have gone shopping for this stuff. But you know what? $150? This is so worth it. This is a few hundred dollars worth of stuff here. So I'm gonna... This is too cool! Look at this! Look at this! These are like $40 and $50 freight cars. So there's like $200 plus dollars in freight cars. I got some Via Rail napkins, which you probably won't get anywhere else, and a Tempo book. This is the best $150 bucks I have probably ever spent. So I'm really thrilled about this actually. This is so cool. Really, I just want to say hats off to Rapido. Congratulations, you knocked this out of the park. This is everything in this shot here that I got in this $150 mystery box. I got it in just a couple of days. So this was just way too cool. I would do this again, say, almost every month. I mean, this is just shocking, like shocking how much you got in this box. I'll probably read that magazine or that book a couple of times. I'll totally use those Via Rail napkins and the real rolling stock that was in this box. Absolutely, I would do without a doubt in my mind. I'll have to do some transition era modeling now. This is just way too cool with the stuff I've already got and now this on top of it. I mean, it doesn't take much. And so just to have a small train with my, you know, my Atla uh, with my Atlantic, a Pacific, my Mikado. I could do a small layout just with this stuff. So, I mean, this is awesome. Uh, if you guys are on the fence or thinking about doing a mystery box from Rapido, do it. Absolutely do it. It's the best $150 you'll probably spend the rest of the year. I'm really excited to get the $250, the premium level box, and see what that comes with. So, initially I was going to kind of go over each car, but in reality, it's Rapido. It's amazing. I think the only thing that I had to notice or point out, I'm not even gonna say gripe because I wouldn't complain about this stuff, was that on the gondola here, 
Three out of four of the steps that dropped down were bent back. No big deal. It happens in the prototype. Add some rust, get over it. There is a pipe that, or a um, grab iron that broke on the Santa Fe car. Guess what? You're not even going to know where it came from. There's no telling where that one grab iron came from because I looked all over that box car and I didn't see anything missing. And then the CNO, the um, wood box car, came with an extra uh, set of underbody details for the brake piping and whatnot. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a variant. Maybe it's a common thing to break or whatever the issue is. I don't care. This was awesome. Rapido, hats off. Congratulations. Knocked it out of the park. I'm coming back for more. And we'll see you in the next episode of Sean's Trains. Take care, and I hope to see you tomorrow at the New Berlin Model Swap, 5330 South Racine Avenue, just a half mile north of I-43, opens at 9 a.m., $5 admission. See you there. Welcome to 5330 South Racine Avenue, where we're hosting the April 23rd New Berlin Model Train Swap at the OAW Indoor Sports Complex. Come and check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to the Ber New Berlin Model Train Swap. I'm here at the OEW Indoor Sports Complex on Racine Avenue in National. We're just off of I-43, a half mile north on Racine Avenue, opening at 9 a.m. $5 admission gets you this room with over 100 tables in it. It's going to be awesome. We've got concessions all, the, all uh, morning and afternoon while we're here, and free parking. There's no fee. Uh, I'm really excited. This is my second event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we've got some awesome vendors with some really good deals and some really unique model trains. So I hope you guys come out and visit us. Come check us out this weekend, April 23rd, 9 a.m., $5 admission, free parking. Hope to see you there.